this is Matteo from Spa Milano and today we're in the Vigentino neighborhood, more precisely in via Ripamonti, in order to show you a shared apartment with two bedrooms, two balconies, kitchen and uh, bathroom, which is located on the third floor, is accessible both through the stairs and through this elevator which you can see here just behind me. So now let's just go ahead and let me show you around. So as we go through the entrance door, we access the shared kitchen, which has the French door leading to the balcony in that corner. On the right here, we have bedroom number one. While proceeding through this corridor, on the left, we find uh, bedroom number two with its uh, private uh, balcony. One in front of us, we have the bathroom. So we just begin our tour uh, from here in the bathroom, which is uh, very long and spacious. We find a sink with this uh, huge uh, mirror on top of it. And there's also a tiltable one here. At the bottom, we have uh, room for the towels and a large uh, washing machine. While proceeding, here we find a spacious uh, box shower with its uh, foldable door and just past it with guts, both of the toilets, the water and bidet with a luminous window here which is obscured for your privacy. Let's directly facing the cold shirt. As for the location, we've got a supermarket just a few meters away, it's very convenient, as well as a bar just out of your doorstep. Here at the entrance hall, we have a little uh, library and uh, just past this opening, we find a little table with three seats where you can have your meals. While on this other side, we've got the kitchen itself, which is a fairly spacious one and fully equipped with a freezer here on this side. At the bottom, we have uh, directly the fridge. On the top, Continuing here we find some uh, cupboards including uh, several utensils for the kitchen and room to store the food A kettle for the tea well, At the bottom we have uh, several pots and more utensils In the drawers you can find uh, all the cutlery which is provided with the apartment And on the side we have a fairly spacious oven as well as the gas stove right on top of it with its uh, relative uh, fan on the top there is another cabinet to store the glasses while continuing here we find yet another cupboard in here we also have a little rack to dry your plates after washing in this uh, large sink right at the bottom there's also a dishwasher in here some more cupboards on this side mostly a technical one and uh, the heating unit while through the French door we access the first of the two balconies of the apartment which is an interior one, but it is uh, directly facing the interior courtyard, so the access is just through that opening down there, where we also do have the reception service. Regarding the public transport, we have the tram number 24, which stops uh, just out of your doorstep, and that's a direct connection to the city center, or otherwise you can catch it and jump off at uh, Crocetta, from where you can catch the underground line number three. So we're now exploring uh, bedroom number one, which is accessible through a pocket door. As we walk in, we have a standalone uh, wardrobe, fairly spacious, with triple set of doors, some shelvings in here. While proceeding, beside this uh, pop uh, decorations on the walls, we find a couple of uh, shelvings at the bottom there, a little uh, desk, it's a chair, and there's uh, plenty of natural light coming in through these uh, large uh, windows. The bed is located in this corner with this uh, cool uh, black uh, finishing with the bedside table as well. There is a air conditioning unit there on top of the entrance door. And this is the view on the interior portrait, which is uh, pretty much similar from the one we've seen uh, from the balcony on this uh, lovely garden. And now we can head back through the entrance hall and gain access to bedroom number two, which is separated through this door. This is a double one, so it comes with these uh, two lovely single beds. On the right hand side, we have a desk with a huge uh, standalone wardrobe all around it, which is just uh, currently occupied. Each of the two single beds come with their bedside tables on each side, and in between them, we find a little uh, library too. On the top there you can notice we have a second air conditioning unit and this bedroom also comes with its uh, private uh, balcony accessible through these uh, French doors and it's uh, still an interior one 
so we're directly overlooking uh, well it's actually a private street down here so it's still very quiet while over there you can see via ripamonti where you have the tram passing by we are on the very last floor of this building so it's uh, really nice uh, and quiet so overall a very nice uh, shared apartment with uh, a lot of natural light we do have the public transport connections to the city center with the underground line number three from Trocetta, which you can reach with the tram line number 24. And with this, we show the other things. So thanks for watching and see you next time. Ciao, ciao.